welcome to another video. Today I want to share with you this cute dress in crochet with these lovely colors all around, as you can see. Match so well the blue, the white, beige, the green on this cute dress. Look at the detail of the buttons. Let me do here the zoom. You can see the cheek buttons this have on the back. I bought this uh, dress on a charity fair. I really loved. I have another one that I will show you. Uh, I am sharing this with you because if you want to learn how to do this dress, let me know your comment just below the box descriptions, okay? And I, I will be so happy to share with you the stitches, the rows, the size, everything. If you want to do this for a newborn or if you want to do for a doll, I guess this uh, dress will fit so well the American doll as well. If you like dolls, I guess this will fit. Let me tell you the measurements this have. 9.5 inches and all around at the waist this have 36 centimeters or 14 inches. Okay, this is the size this have. This is not too much tight on the doll. This have flour all around. I put it on this dummy. It, it not it wasn't my intention to put on this dummy, but I guess it fits like a glove on her and looks cute. And now I will share with you the other dress and you can see if you want to do this, I will be happy. You can do this design for your dolls or for a for as a gift for someone who have a baby. It's really, really cute. Let me show you the detail here, the flower. Really cute. I love it. And let's see the other dress that I bought with this one, okay? This is the other one in grey, really lovely as well. Let me show you the, de the detail of the stitch. It's the hand fan crochet. I guess now you can see. Look, really cute stitch. I have this stitch here on my channel. If you want to learn it, you can learn it. This one had here uh, a ribbon all around has a bow in white matching with the button and I removed the ribbon in, in white I want to put one in pink I guess pink and gray really match well the size for this one it's exactly the same as the previous video if you want to learn this one as well I can share with you the stitch let me know on the comment below this one fits really nice and match with the color of the dummy this is really really cute as well and I realized something that the thread I used on this uh, on this dress it's exactly the same thread that I used on my previous video when I did this uh, triangle square. It's exactly the same. I have one finished here and I put this the thread on the dummy, on the dress itself and it's exactly the same thread. Look at this. Really, really nice. I really love that. It's not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. <laughs> okay, I really sh I showed you the dress. I will show with you the measurements if you want to do for a newborn or as a gift or for the American doll. And uh, don't forget to let me know your comment just below if you like it. I will share with you all the details on this cute dress. I will share with you the measurements this little dress have. You can uh, see if this will fit a doll or if this can fit a newborn. And let's see. Okay, uh, 
I just measured the waist before and this have all around 13.5 inches 34 centimeters all around the waist okay and now let me show you here from the neck till the waist we have three inches the shoulder at the shoulder we have 3.5 inches 9 centimeters let's see all around the neck have 13 inches as well let's see the center back it's the, uh, here the opening two inches and 3.5 till here at the waist and let me tell you the measurement from the waist till below we have 8 inches uh, the, the measurements it's uh, similar to this one the only difference this one have a square neck and this one have a circular neck but it's uh, almost the same but let me tell you here you can see here you have 2.5 inches the shoulder is a bit smaller 2.5 inches here we have 3 inches till the waist and then here I guess here is smaller than the other one here we have 8.5 inches if you are a beginner in crochet uh, the way to start this dress is from the neck you need to put all this you need to do all the foundation stitches you need then you will work as a circle till you reach the waist then you will start to do the hips below this is the way to do the dress uh, I will waiting for your comments if you want to learn these two dresses let me know on the comments below okay thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video thank you